Welcome back, it's still me, and we're going to look at how to cite within your paper. Here are two sample paragraphs. Both of them are about pandas in China. The first one says, pandas live in China. Pandas eat bamboo. Pandas are black and white. According to Donald Lindbergh, the species cannot naturally survive outside bamboo forests. Though in captivity, they have been maintained on cereals, milk, and garden fruits and vegetables. Paragraph 3. Zookeepers must adjust the panda's diet. So, again, common knowledge does not have to be cited. So I wrote down pandas live in China. Most people know that. Most people know that pandas eat bamboo, and most people know that pandas are black and white. But then, most people will not know that they cannot live naturally outside bamboo forests, and then they might not know that zookeepers adjust the diet. So I looked up and found an article in an encyclopedia written by Donald Lindbergh. So I wrote down, according to Donald Lindbergh. Then I wrote down his exact quote, and then since there's not a page number on that website citation, I wrote down, it's found in the third paragraph. And then it goes back to my own writing where it says zookeepers must adjust the panda's diet. So that's one way I can go ahead and cite something. I can say, according to this person, give the quote, and then tell where it's located. Let's look at the next paragraph. It's the same thing, but a little different. Pandas live in China. Pandas can eat bamboo. Pandas are black and white. They cannot live outside of bamboo forests. If they are in a zoo, the panda might also eat cereal, fruit, vegetables, and drink. might drink milk. Then I wrote down Lindbergh, paragraph 3. So I was paraphrasing what the guy wrote in his article, but even though those are my words, it's his idea, and so I needed to put in the citation. And then I put in, zookeepers must adjust the panda's diet. So those are two ways that I can use a citation in the text. Let's take a look at another one. So I'm back in that Google document that we were working on earlier, and you can see my giant panda encyclopedia citation right there. I'm going to scroll up, and now I've typed something about Ghost. Ghost is a book that we'll be reading in the second semester. I wrote down, I know that Ghost loves his mother. For example, when the track team newbies were going out to eat with their coach, we read this. It was time to go. And I was so ready. I had even made up my mind that no matter how good the food was, I would save some for Ma. Reynolds, page 166. It was thoughtful that Ghost wants to save some food to take home for his mother. A second reason I know that Ghost and his mother are pretty close is that Jason Reynolds includes the fact that Ghost's mother cheers him on during the track meet and says she is proud of him. Page 229. Now, I was citing from an ebook, so don't look up on the physical book the same pages because I'm not sure they would line up. But you can see when I had an exact quote up here, I put it in quotes, and then in this parenthetical, I wrote Reynolds, page 166. Now, down here, I had Jason Reynolds in my, in my actual sentence, and then I included a fact or an idea from the book, and I cited the page number. Those are two ways that I could cite in text. And so you can see down here, Jason Reynolds, Ghost, and then the publisher and the year. Okay, so make sure that you cite things that are not yours, whether you do it with uh, their name in the sentence and the page number at the end, or you put in the full quote and then you put the parenthetical right here. Anytime that you reference something that is not your own idea or your own words, you need to cite that.